Well, why is it acceptable that 100% of the population is diagnosable with physical illnesses at some point in their lives, but only 25% would be allowed to be diagnosed with mental illnesses? Why? Who said, who set the bar at 25? Well, the, the reason they do that is they set up this disorder concept where you have to have functional impairment and severe symptoms to meet the diagnostic definitions. Why? What's the scientific rationale for that? You remember how we used to diagnose headache before the 1950s and 60s? You could have a blood pressure of 250 over 150 every day for years on end, like Franklin Roosevelt did. But if you didn't have, I'm sorry, diagnosis of hypertension. If you didn't have headache, if you didn't have some symptom from the high blood pressure, you were not diagnosed with clinical hypertension. You had to have a symptom. You had to have functional impairment and severe symptoms. It's not enough just to have a high reading on your blood pressure. That's pathologizing. Then, of course, he got a severe headache, and he died five minutes later from the stroke. So he was diagnosable five minutes before he died. And that's the kind of thing that led physicians to change their definitions of hypertension in the 1950s and 60s away from the requirement for symptoms and functional. That's not biologically rational to have that kind of requirement. Well, why do we have that requirement for every single psychiatric disorder? 